So good evening, everyone. This is the most interesting session I have been ever into participating in my career life. Obviously, we have the most exciting DJ, right? On the other hand, it's also the most depressing session because it brought me back to 40 years ago. I was an infant in hunger. My dad, he is a farmer. My mom, he was denied for education back in the bottom of the social class back in China, in the countryside, the most rural countryside. So at that time, my dream is very simple. I want to have enough food. And today, and we hear a lot of so touching stories. It all start from ordinary people, but obviously they are making extraordinary impact to their society in the fulfillment of their personal commission, commitment to this dream, to this mission, and they are making a huge difference to the society, to everybody else. So rolling back the time clock to 40 years ago, I wouldn't have thought that I would be able to today and speak here and share my dream with you guys. And in the next couple of minutes, I'm going to share the vision of Alibaba, Alibaba Cloud. The vision is AI for a better future. This AI is not the ordinary AI we're talking about. It's actionable, accessible, affordable intelligence for everybody. At the end, it's going to generate accumulated impact to the society. So multiple interpretation of AI. It's not only about visual or speech recognition. It's about all the coding, the coders, okay? All the Q farms and the food delivery, the hunger, all the malnutrition. So all these applications are supposed to be powered by the technology underneath. It's really like the wind beneath the wind, okay? So in a way, in your chasing for the dream, for the making difference to the society, we are going to provide this technological support. And this was the mission 20 years ago, Jack Ma, he started this company. As you can see, 20 years ago, ordinary people, a group of people, some of them even had a difficulty landing a job, a decent job in China. But they came together with the same mission to make it easy to do business anywhere in the world. And even as of today, we still commit to the same mission. Now today we are a company of 100,000 employees, but we are united under the same mission. Okay, doesn't matter, 100,000, 200,000, or 300,000 people. This company is always committed to bring a better life to everybody. And in fact, this lady, this lady on this, uh, in this picture, and she was handicapped. And she couldn't get a job in China as a single mom. And somehow she found our e-commerce e platform Taobao. And we get connected. And we actually trained her to do the e-commerce shopping on our website. And the most important thing is she gets this skill set and she get a better life and she decided it's time for her to return to society. And she actually launched a campaign to train a lot of other similar single mom or handicapped mom in her situation. And today more than 3,000 this kind of mom are doing the same thing. So that's why we call this magic, magic being mom. Okay, the magic is no magic at all. It's only the mission to make technology for a better life for everybody. And likewise, for the right hand side, you see the forest. So 350 million users that participated in the mobile app of Alipay, which is the, the app owned, developed by Alibaba Group, okay, for the payment online shopping. So for every payment, they accumulate certain credit. And for the credit was converted to we are going to plant a tree somewhere in the desert, in the remote area, as of today, as of today. From the 350 million users, we already planted 40,000 acres forest. 
ladies and gentlemen. 40,000 acres. Not too much, but it's just the beginning. Because as a company by ourselves, we have limited power. But we believe the unlimited mission, the vision is going to give everybody, including you guys here, a greater real commitment, determination to make this difference. And to even make the more and more people like the African ladies, including the African elephants, they will enjoy a better life, a better ecosystem. Inclusively, we make this world better for everybody for every species, humankind as well. So what can we do? As a cloud company, okay, cloud computing company, it's not up in the sky, okay? We have to be realistic. We believe, as of today, all these young entrepreneurs, you have heard about the seven stories, we are providing the computing infrastructure. We provide the computing as a public service, and also the data become a resource a new form of energy. But again, with all these three ingredients, the magic doesn't happen automatically. It requires a lot of entrepreneurs like you guys here, ladies and gentlemen. It requires your determination and your dream, your commitment to this great course to make all this technology a working system with a real output impact to the elephant to the food delivery and to the patient in the rural part of China. And to that end, in fact, you see, it's already happening. In China, back in China, we have the firefighters, we have the farmers, and also we have this, uh, you see, the, 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 the fire, the, the, next one, the last one, the traffic policeman. That traffic policeman, by the way, I'll give you a little bit number, okay? In the most busiest, the busiest, the heavily jammed, okay, congested traffic intersection in the downtown area of Hangzhou, the downtown area. And this gentleman was standing there, manually coordinating the traffic flow because the traffic signal wasn't smart enough. Because it was hard coded. All the time, all the timing, the template was pre-coded 10 years ago by the time this traffic signal was installed. So the IQ was fixed with a very little upper bump. So this gentleman, the traffic policeman, he has to personally stand in, in the 40 Celsius high temperature in the summer and do this coordination of the traffic flow. And now with our solution, and then his job become much easier. Why? Because all those traffic signals are coordinated by a centralized algorithm, AI algorithm. So that's what, what I meant by actionable insight, accessible and affordable. So because of this, this gentleman has a better life and all this traffic, the traffic flow become swifter, okay, the traffic jam improved, the situation improved. Again, this is a real scenario which we meant the AI for better life for the drivers and for this traffic policeman, okay. So this is what we have done by ourselves as a single company, but at the end of the day, it requires a unified, a coordinated effort from everybody, including all the ladies and gentlemen here to do this great course. So the key point is, how do we make the next generation of game changer, the innovators, the entrepreneurs, accessible to this technology to facilitate their dream chasing? So to that end, we decide and we believe it's important to look at the young kids, the teenagers, so I wish, when I was at high school, I wish I could have this opportunity, but I couldn't really get my hands on keyboard until I was 22 years old. I graduated from, from college, I was entering my graduate study, that's the only time I, I, I had a chance to, to do the coding. I remember the frustration I had. The first time I taught the computer was at the University of Chicago. So at that time, my classmates, 
most of them come from the Indian class. They are pretty good at uh, pasta, uh, uh, fortune, fortune, at that time it's fortune in the 1990s, okay, or some C++ class. But I didn't know single, single, single coding skill set. So I feel like underprivileged. But today, we believe for the young generation in the teenage or 20 age, in the early teens, they should be able to have an early access, exposure to this new technology. So that's why we decide, okay, now for the AI, we wanna create a program to help the data tenants, the data engineers, data scientists across the globe to get their hands on the real data, to look at the deep neural network, the convolutionary neural network, all these buzzwords from the news media, the mainstream media. Okay, how does that work? How does that make real difference with the real data and it deliver the result of the traffic flow optimization or some other similar applications? So key point is we have to make the data available, make the computation resource available and let them explore, do the innovations. And we did that. And we actually had a platform it's called the Tianchi Big Data Hackathon Platform. As of today, we already attracted more than 270,000 270, data engineers and data scientists across 92 countries and regions across the globe. And one of the champions in the data hackathon was a high school student. And he, here's his picture, okay, from 19, 17 years old. So it doesn't surprise us, because given their education, the IQ, or the mission, okay, once they have the access to this great resource, the data resource and the computational resource, and their imagination, creativity will explode, okay? And as a society, we will benefit from their creativity and originality and essentially will benefit everybody, including these young kids, okay? And now he's a, he's a A student in graduate school already, okay, all right. So, the Tech for Change is just the beginning. It's not an initiative. It's not a one-time job done. It's a program as Yemi just alluded to in the beginning. So, we call for actions from everybody, including all the big tech companies, including the young entrepreneurs. As long as you stay on course to the mission to make a difference, to make a real life better for everybody to the society, and you will succeed, and we will succeed. And united, we will make a better life, a better society, an ecosystem for the Earth, smarter planet, and a better future. It's not a dream, it's a reality within our reach, within your effort and our effort. So, with that, I would conclude this uh, short presentation. And next, I'm going to welcome a special team. And this team actually is a winner. This team is a winner from the latest uh, big data hexagon. And this hexagon was actually in collaboration with the German, German AI challenge with the the Aerospace Authority. So essentially the data is provided by this agency with a remote sensing satellite image. So they want to use this data across a couple of years to track the development of urban, urban area and the suburban area and look at, okay, the city evolution, okay, and look at the land utilization. 